Crater Lake National Park proudly presents Cooking with Rocks at Crater Lake National Park. I'm Ranger Audrey. Crater Lake is framed by magnificent walls of igneous rocks, or rocks that started out inside the earth as magma. Now, most of the time, we only get to discover these rocks' walls from a distance. But today, we get to find out what makes all the park's rocks the same, but yet different. When magma cools and solidifies inside the earth over thousands and thousands of years, or intrusively, the minerals have a chance to grow large visible mineral crystals, giving the rock a coarse grained texture like these rocks. Now the other way that rocks can cool is extrusively, thanks to being erupted from a volcano. When this happens, the minerals do not have time to form large crystals. So there are crystals in the rocks, but they're very small. And this gives the rock a fine grain texture, like these rocks. Once geologists have determined if a rock cooled and solidified intrusively or extrusively, they then look to give the rock a specific name by figuring out the specific recipe or mineral composition of that particular rock. Almost all the rocks here at the park cooled extrusively, including Lau Rock, Watchman Peak, and Wizard Island. Geologists have determined that Lau Rock is a, made of a kind of rock called rhyodacite because it contains 68 to 72 percent silica. Think beach sand. Watchman Peaks rocks contain about 63 to 68% silica, and so then their recipe says that they are now called dacite. Since Wizard Island's rocks recipe calls for 57 to 63% silica, that rock is known as andesite. Wizard Island's rocks are darker in color than Lau Rock's rocks, and that's because of the amount of silica. Now, our rocks have more than silica in them. It is the other ingredients that help determine how light gray or how dark gray or almost black looking a rock is. Crater Lake National Park's Igneous Rock Cookbook helps us to discover the different rocks that are here at the park. Now, each recipe calls for the same basic ingredients but it's the proportion of each ingredients that help geologists identify what kind of rock it is. Thank you for joining me for Cooking with Rocks at Crater Lake National Park. This production of Cooking with Rocks was made possible by Planet Earth.